So here are Kaya. There's Anna eating, and there's Kaya coming around. These are my standard donkey baby girls. They just turned a year in September 2017. Now it's December. It's getting pretty chilly, but I need to build them a structure. I've got two on the place, and I had hoped to have the fence all done so that they could have access to the one down below. There's my place there. I don't think you can see the structure. It's one I built in um, it was 2010 for my, oh, she was a rescued um, Mustang mare. The neighbors had, and they hadn't done anything with her for years. She was in a very small paddock, and so I brought her over here. She was already foundered, and she just got worse and worse, and we had to put her down. And then off in the distance there, so to the red one is the little um, eight by eight foot structure I built lady was my first one. See, it has little windows in the side. has a good roof. I was putting the roof on that year when the snow was flying. And then there's another one that came with the place. You can barely see it down there past the pump house. It had a chute it was used for bringing cattle in. It's got a nice corral. It has a really nice low barn, pretty good size, and a hay manger. And, um, but they can't get to it right now because the fence isn't up. So I'm going to build them a little 8 by 8 foot structure up here on the place. And I'm just going to kind of put it up on YouTube because I looked at it a lot trying to build my barn. And um, thought maybe it would help somebody else. We've got a lot of ice here this morning. I've got to go put my cleats on. Alrighty, so there's what I have so far, this little paddock. It's probably about an acre and a half up here. It was pretty late summer when I brought them in. It was July and there's not much left. They still got some browse out there, but they really want their hay. I'm mixing their hay now with straw. Everything I've read, you just have to be careful not to give donkeys too much rich food. As you can see, they're mostly picking through it putting the hay on, or the straw on the ground, but at least it's slowing them down. I had hay nets, and I came home to find Anna with her legs stuck in the hay net. I had tied it up high, I don't know how she managed, but I don't want that to happen again. I don't know how long she was there. Fortunately, donkeys are very calm, and she was just standing there, and I thought, okay, I'll tie it up even higher, and of course, then the next morning, she had her, I had it tied to that post, and she had her legs stuck through it again, so, hence, I got the little feed box here, so they can't get their little legs is stuck in it. Alrighty, it's really slick out here for them. They were sliding yesterday. Kaya came kind of running, well, not running, walking fast for the hay, and just went all cattywampus with her legs. Their water's frozen. I'm using that stick to break it up for now. I'm going to probably get a heater on it. I've just been pouring hot water. I'm just going to dump one of those buckets out so I just have to deal with one. I'll have the other one in reserve if I need it. Um, that won't be frozen solid. And there are the materials. So there's some material down here. I decided this time, last time I put a, you know, a, a, a tile roof on it. This time I'm going to use the, the tin. I got the brown. I want it red, but they didn't have red in 10 foot. So I've got the brown. And then I've got my materials over here. I'm going to, and I've got some bags of cement inside. I'm going to sink some uh, four by sixes into cement and gravel. And then I'm going to uh, support it up with um, 10 feet is going to be the front and back. The front's going to be open. It'll be seven foot at the front, going down about five, five and a half at the back, uh, eight foot deep, and I'm going to support it with the, I've got some two by sixes to go across the ten foot um, side in the back. The front's going to be open, although I might uh, board half of it up. I might sink another little four by four up there so I can make a, a wall in the front too. Somebody suggested putting a heating lamp in there to keep them warm. I don't know if they'll need all that. They just need to be dry and have a wind block, as far as I understand. 
and then I have some one by four slats to go across the roof and the walls I'm gonna do fencing boards I got a really good deal they're um, they're dug fur I believe is what they are um, stained gold so I think that'll look pretty nice those gold ones over there uh, with the brown roof so we'll just kind of see how it goes and I got all this stuff right next to the spot that's the most level spot I could find up here so I'm going to just put it right over there, right a little bit um, past the, the boards and stuff. See how I'm going to set some boards out there and see how level it is. And I'll, I'll just kind of go step by step. I'll show you when I get the holes all dug and the posts in and I'm filling them up with cement and whatnot. Alrighty, so that's just the plan and we'll see how it goes from there.